All right, next up, we've got WorkSport. WorkSport, baby. Steven Rossi coming on the screen. WorkSport. Steven, how's it going, man? Pretty good. Up, uh, up here in Canada, sun shining. We're feeling pretty good. Happy to be in front of uh, the Benzinga audience again. Now, I want to know what's behind you. Is that actual wood or is that a, a, a background, a fake background? It's a WorkSport mystery. It's a WorkSport mystery? Well, I like that branded logo on the wood. It's yeah. rustic and it matches. I feel like it matches you and I like it. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. We, uh, we we feel it fits really good. That's the, I, everything, I, everything I see I like so far. I want to hear about the company. Sure. Yeah. Happy to present again. And I'm just going to kick it right off. So, you know, hello to everyone again. Thanks for uh, tuning in, I guess, on uh, my presentation. For those who uh, know me, uh, hello again. For those that don't, my name is Stephen Rossi and I founded WorkSport in 2011 with a passion for making products better, simpler, and beautiful. I started this company to bring innovation to a market that simply lacks innovation. WorkSport started as a producer of tunnel covers for pickup trucks. Much like Johnson & Johnson started making baby, power before become, baby powder before becoming what it is today. To put it into reference, pickup trucks are the number one selling vehicle in North America, and covers like ours are the first purchased item for these trucks. Trucks are now getting exciting, right? The Tesla Cybertruck, the Hummer EV, the Rivian RT1, the Lordstown Endurance. We're just not in a small market anymore, and we're in an extremely enviable position. Let me explain why. WorkSport launches products from the ground up. That means we start from concept, move to prototyping, testing, and user group evaluation. Consider us an R&D think tank in the automotive space. We heavily focus on intellectual property assets, which is arguably one of the most important aspects of our business. We now have an IP portfolio of about 27 IP assets, including utility patents and trademarks ranging from China to the USA to globally and a lot more down the pipeline on the IP side. These IP assets represent countless numbers of development hours and is one of the core competitive strengths. We also own our, all of our own designs, tooling processes, facilities, equipment, and that gives us a massive competitive advantage and positions, positions us to continue to be the market disruptor through innovation. First, let's talk stock. Our ticker symbol is WKSP. We're traded on the OTCQB market. The stock's traded anywhere between 35 cents in the past few weeks, and its 52-week range, 52 week range has been 5 cents to 85 cents. We have 165 million shares outstanding, standing in our market cap somewhere around 46 and a half, 47 million dollars. A special note, in my opinion, is a lack of long-term debt that we currently have. That provides us with a great deal of financial flexibility as we look to finance our growth going forward. We'll talk about that a little bit more in the future. Uh, we believe that the key to growing a brand in manufacturing is offering a full line of products. This means ensuring that today's customers can have all their needs satisfied by WorkSport and anticipating their future needs, all while keeping them in the WorkSport ecosystem. WorkSport already offers a full line of innovative truck bed covers for every major make and model truck in North America. We're working towards expanding even further with new, never-before-seen products and applications for the broader, expanding global pickup truck market. Unlike most, we don't rely on outsourced overseas manufacturing or white label buying. That's when a company buys a factory's catalog under uh, catalog item under their brand, kind of like what Walmart does. We manufacture our own products directly in our own factories operated by us in, in China. This means that we are in total control from design to production to quality. We're also setting up our first North American manufacturing facility. This is going to be home to our most innovative and elite products, and we'll be getting the keys the first week of June. This is going to be the state-of-the-art facility, and we're super excited about this growth. We work very hard on maintaining innovations. Before we began in this market, previous leaders sold the same models with no changes for 20 years or even more. Trucks have changed. We're innovation stales. We can thrive. Our forthcoming solar renewable energy products are innovations that we're very excited about entering, and we're entering a whole new market. We'll get into that in just a minute. We participate, we participate in a very broad market, which taps into virtually limitless, limitless revenue channels. Uh, we put these kind of uh, revenue uh, streams or channels into buckets. Our first bucket is our conventional truck bed covers. There's two major markets. Both are huge and growing. We sell our design products directly to other manufacturers. This is called OEM. Uh, OEM manufacturing. Uh, we also sell premium products under our brand, the WorkSport brand, through channels like Business to Consumer Direct, e-commerce marketplaces like Amazon and Walmart and eBay, or through Business to Business to any of these 60,000 automotive businesses in the USA. This is called the SEM or specialty equipment market. These markets are huge and growing. There are over 60 million pickup trucks on the roads today in the USA. The average spend for a truck cover, a conventional a uh, more boring lineup uh, is $600. That represents a $36 billion gross market. But wait, it gets a lot better. 
I said we're innovators, right? Disruptors, and, and that's where things really get interesting for WorkSport. We've been working hard on our hybrid energy systems for five years. A market disruptor we've named the Terra V system. This new product lineup vastly opens us up to the global consumer markets. That includes tunnel cover markets, the pickup truck, uh, pickup truck specialty equipment market, the OEM markets, the EV markets, and the battery storage system markets. We're able to re re realize revenues from OEM, private label, consumer direct, military, and disaster, disaster relief channels, to only name a few. The cumulative, side of those, cumulative size of those markets is forecasted to be in excess of 24 billion in just the next few years. With our new products, the only and only a modest 5% market share, that could amount to $1.5 billion uh, in top line revenues for WorkSport. We said it in 2015 that it was not a question of if, but when our beloved pickup trucks would become electrified. Now we have literally dozens of EV pickup truck nameplates coming. With EV, with the EV rush comes the challenges from the stress on an already overdrawn electrical grid to range and plug anxiety. WorkSport is pioneering this market and launching its Terra V system a system that has been in development since 2015 with a series of utility patents and divisional patents. The Terra V system vastly broadens WorkSport's market size, scope, future, and opportunity. It is the first of its kind, and, uh, and I like to describe it as a mobile solar power generation system. And it consists of three monetizable major systems. The first is the cover, the most advanced folding truck bed system the world has ever seen. We believe it's leaps and bounds ahead of anything else and is designed to go anywhere. WorkSport's ingenuity paired with an aha moment resulted in us outfitting our most advanced truck bed system with solar panels that will be able to generate mobile power off-grid. The second innovation is our battery system called the TerraVis Core. Uh, the TerraVis Core battery system will store and deploy power from the solar cover in up to four batteries, each having a huge 1.5 kilowatt hour capacity. The Core battery system will power almost anything. The third market is we'll also launch universal microgrid kits to make power possible anywhere around the world and for any applications like trailers, RVs, campers, sheds, and, and homes to pop-up systems for events and uh, emergency relief, disaster relief. A universal offering of the TerraVis core and battery system paired together with a universal rail system. Um, but, oh, sorry. But the TerraVis Core has many ingenious features, such as the ability to be charged from multiple sources. You'll be able to charge it off-grid with your TerraVis cover, but you'll also be able to charge it by any wall outlet or 12-volt power source. Once the battery is fully depleted, just swap it out with a new one. That's our modular system. We also have a very interesting feature that we've patented in our system called hot swapping. That's why it's available for medical applications so that as the battery is dying and you have a delicate medical device connected to it, you can remove the depleted battery and replace it with a charged battery without the unit dying for about 15 to 30 seconds. And this is where our system really starts to stand apart from anything else that has ever been done before. So let's recap. The TerraVis is a huge breakthrough because it opens up three huge market. It can be a passive, low voltage charging system to tomorrow's EVs trucks, providing up to 30% of the power needed for the average commuter with zero emissions or carbon footprint completely from the sun. We also have offerings for many EV trucks as possible, including the Rivian, the Lordstown, the Tesla, and the Atlas XT as they become more uh, available. We've already forged OEM partnerships with two EV nameplates, one of which is in talks with Nissan. To date, we've identified possibly as much as $70 million in foreseeable TerraVis OEM sales within its initial launch. And we've only just kind of begun. Uh, the work, as WorkSport gets closer to launching the TerraVis, we see OEM demand increasing. We'll obviously put TerraVis units in front of buyers at all major EV manufacturers in the very near future. With the onset and adoption of EVs comes tomorrow's problem. Where's the power going to come from? The TerraVis endeavors to be the answer. With WorkSport having $45 million in market valuation, we believe this positions WorkSport as among the most investable companies in the market with a very bright, bright future. But as discussed before, the TerraVis will also be available to install in today's conventional trucks that are gas or diesel. With the TerraVis installed, it will turn any truck into a mobile micro power grid. For the weekend warrior, do it yourself, for a contractor, photographer, and first responders, the TerraVis will make getting off grid that much more possible and convenient. You just don't have to worry about where the closest plug is. WorkSport has successfully tested various products to market over, uh, yeah, successfully tested various products to market over the years, selling millions of dollars of product as a result. This allows us to analyze the market's appetite for our products when we launch them or before we launch them. We had nearly near profit, profitability in 2019 from just simple pre-launch market testing. That shows, shows just how successful WorkSport is poised to be. 
With North America's pickup truck sales outpacing all other vehicle segments two to one, our market size will only increase along with our barrier, the barrier to entry, putting WorkSport in an increasingly enviable position. WorkSport will continue to grow its market share by focusing on private label business as a stable and profitable revenue channel. We will launch full line of premium products at different prices and different designs from the private label business uh, to direct to consumers this year. Margin increase on the margin increase from business to consumer is 50%. Uh, it's not an increase, but our gross margin can range in excess of 50% once we go consumer direct. In some instances, even 100%. Uh, and with the economies of scale and those prevailing as we grow, margins will increase, of course. Once we got a strong market presence, we'll backfill our revenue channels via B2B uh, attribution partnerships, bolstering future growth. The TerraVis will start as a consumer direct product, which is poised to be on the cornerstone or the cornerstone of our anticipated explosive revenue growth. We will have pre-production TerraVis core systems in our hands in less than 60 days. The TerraVis solar covers in late stage design and testing. Both are slated for soft launch later this year with a full global market launch in 2022. To recap, unlike most consumer goods, the TerraV system is not just a single sale unit, but a system where customers continue to purchase accessories from us to fit their evolving lifestyle, from more batteries to tool bags and storage chests, providing an exponentially increasing revenue model, unlike brands before us. As customers' needs increase, they can easily purchase more batteries or accessories for the truck or system. Our modular system approach will result in repeat customers purchasing dramatically increasing our revenue channels. The core battery system is appealing to the global market, not just truck owners. We're super excited about a universal microgrid system. As well, we aim to launch the, these universal microgrid systems later on this year in a pre-launch setting and then full-scale launch next year with the TerraVis core as well. Looking ahead to when EV trucks begin to travel our roads, the TerraVis system will become synonymous with those truck models as the must-have accessory that will not only bring innovative utility to the truck beds, but as a source for off-grid charge ener energy without range or plug anxiety. Plainly put, the TerraVis will be tomorrow's must-have accessory for millions. All of this while WorkSport team manage it, uh, WorkSport's team and management work hard on more, even more innovation. We're presently on the cusp of even more breakthrough products that will be announced in the very near future. Um, so let's recap some of the financial strengths of the company. In February 2021, WorkSport closed an oversubscribed Reg A offering, raising $4 million. To date, WorkSport received $2.9 million from warrants uh, as an overflow from the, or as a derivative from the Reg A, and we raised another $3 million in a no, non-brokered private placement. I actually think that's closer to $4 million now. And we currently have about $10 million in cash, and we have, again, zero long-term debt. Long-term debt, no long-term debt. WorkSport will deploy its cash in executing our business plan, including significant investment in inventory, manufacturing capability, research and development, and marketing and branding. The remainder of the funds will be deployed for our upcoming forward-thinking projects. That is all I have to say about that. If there's any questions, happy to answer them. Wow. Incre incredible product, super innovative business model. Um, we we do have some questions for you, Stephen. Sure. Um, the, the number one, I think, has to do with that innovative uh, aspect. How are you protecting uh, uh, that innovation? Is do you have a patent? How are you how are you stopping other EV manufacturers from making the same thing? I remember many moons ago. I've, I've been in business uh, since I was eighteen for myself, and uh, and I've never looked back. And I've had a lot of mentors. Uh, my father being one of them. And I remember very clearly put, the statement was clear. You don't have to be the best always, but you should be the first. So we thought about this in 2014, and that was kind of un unheard of. It was insane to think of a solar tunnel cover in 2014, especially one that folds and connects amongst its folding panels. Uh, so we filed a PCT or a series of PCTs that are on a, a global scale uh, patent that you can start drawing down in certain countries and then you can also divide those patents. What divisionals are is as opposed to it being a solar cover with folding panels, mm -hmm. you, you can divide you know, one patent to speak specifically to the solar cover and specifically to the interconnectivity of panels. So we've been forging a, a multitude of divisional patents from our parent uh, and you know we will protect our intellectual property with vigor. We have an outstanding intellectual property team both in house and, and uh, the, the legal side. Um, so as you know, things get close to what we're trying to do, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely be protecting our, our rights with vigor. Wow. All right. Um, now, what about the European market? Any plans to get out there? 
So the, the core. So we're, we're going to make the core with the standard uh, US plug as well as, you know, all, all foreign plugs in, in major markets. Um, so the core microgrid system for sure. Now, you know, areas like, for example, the, 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 the continent of Africa, uh, some of Australia, Spain, and, and some of the, the less populated areas, pickup trucks are, are just thriving and even mm -hmm. in Asia. Um, so we plan on deploying the TerraVis as a truck accessory as well as a universal microgrid or just the battery pack. So imagine the, the, the core battery system. Well, we're going to launch the core pretty soon. So people are going to be able to see what it really looks like. Uh, imagine a small box that's 25 pounds or 30 pounds that you could put in a cupboard. And when the power goes out, you know what happened in Texas, or what happens every year after hurricanes or natural disasters, you pop it out, you plug in your internet, your fridge, you know, your TV, just to keep yourself occupied. Uh, and it's there when you need it, plug it in uh, to a solar panel to recharge any of the batteries. And away you go. So that, that's, it's not a North American centric product. It's mm -hmm. a global product, like even a colleague of mine in Bogota, Colombia. Um, you know, the, 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 the power grid in certain areas is not stable. This could help mitigate a lot of those issues. Absolutely incredible. And in what, what partnerships are, are you hoping as an organization that you have not secured yet um, to get um, for that distribution that you think will be a big catalyst for growth? Um, so we're, we're obviously like, it, it's obvious that the solar cover as a product is going to end up, we're, we're going to build it for an RT1. We're familiar with the Lordstown and how the geometry is similar to the General Motors Silverado mm -hmm. and Sierra. So we're going to build, you know, prototypes for the, the forthcoming EVs and, and get them out there in front of the EV buyers, like the F-150 or the Hummer or the Lordstown. Um, in terms of the core system, obvious distribution partners, we've been in talks with fairly large, you know, retail outlets. And some of those names could be, but may not be like Costco or a Walmart or a Home Depot in terms of big box retail. Um, but we plan on just to maintain our, our market, like the, the, to avoid price erosion and to avoid over distribution and to really mm -hmm. maximize profits. We're going to self distribute. Uh, and if we could self distribute going business to consumer, we maintain, you know, all of those areas of margin and we grow the workforce name. Um, but we've had lots of interest from private label entities. Uh, so we'll, we're, we're a little weaker, perhaps in foreign markets until we get strong there, mm. uh, we may hand off the distribution. Um, but you know, what are, what we're most excited for the first pecking order for us is Ford, Lordstown, Rivian, mm -hmm. Tesla, you know, trust getting the product in front of there and seeing what the appetite is. And, and what is your per, uh, current production capacity and, and, and how is it going to grow over the years to come? We, we, we're going to start with only about 250 capacity, 250 units of the core and 250 units of the, of the Terra V solar cover itself. Hmm. We're going to, uh, 250 units per day. Um, and then that could scale. So, you know, we, we, we want to start small because it's such a, a high, a high priced item. We want to make sure that, you know, we're, we're fixing any bugs. We are doing that now, but you never know, you know, once it gets out to the broader market. Um, but we plan on being able to scale up to about 4,000 units per week. Okay. And then in terms of uh, customer acquisition or, or retailer uh, acquisition, could you just speak to your, your marketing strategy? So we're, we're business, con business to consumer on the, at least for sure the TerraVis core and the TerraVis systems. There's going to be a business to consumer with, you know, OEM in the outskirts where Ford or Rivian may be interested, for example. Um, but our, our idea is just to really focus a lot of uh, human resource and capital expense on marketing, which brings builds a brand. And when you build your brand and you establish yourself as a thriving, that's why in the presentation I said backfilling. Once you've built your brand and there's an avid market, distribution comes to you and you mm. can name your price. Whereas when we go to distribution initially, um, you know, we're almost hat in hand and they say, well, I want a 30% discount and I want a 2% rebate. But once you've built, you know, your brand, you know, distribution's calling you saying, we'll just take a 5% margin. We need this product. So we're, we're always going to position WorkSport in these, in these, in the most strengthful position, the strongest position in market. And that's going to be marketing, building our brand and building our sales business to consumer, which really increases margin. So it's just a triple win and then backfill business to business. And, and I can see the brand being very strong. The presentation is very clear that you're treating your brand like in a very high quality way. Uh, for the folks that are retail investors, for the folks that are institutional investors, what are the things that they should be thinking about beyond just the idea of solar energy? Um, um, what is the thing that they should be thinking about, about your company? So when they pitch it to their boss, like, hey, I want to put X amount of money into this, what's the one thing that you think is going to sell folks on this? 
Well, what I want to note on that is we, we issued a press release stating that, of course, we've we've applied because of the successful financing, we've applied to list on on, the, on a senior exchange, the NASDAQ capital markets, which makes okay. us a lot more investable, we believe. Uh, we feel that if that were to happen, although there's no assurances of us being able to list, mm -hmm. we're in a good position. But, um, you know, we, we would that we expect that it could happen uh, sooner than later. Um, but outside of the NASDAQ listing, which isn't what you what you necessarily asked, is that I, I have to say this in not sounding cocky, but the Terravis product was something that we conceptualized um, seven years ago. And it's something that's only wowing people now. So you have to think, what have we thought about, it, about like what's being kind of held back in the, in the R&D archives over the past seven years? If what we're presenting to the world today that's blowing people's minds coast to coast, or at least globally, mm -hmm. um, is seven years old, you should just start to wonder, what does WorkSport have in the archives? What's it really working on behind closed doors? And we're going to focus heavily on renewable green energy. And you know, stay tuned for, for that, but uh, it excites me every day what the future looks like. And it's again, it's renewable energy deployment. Uh, and we just feel that the grid Although we're a tier one country, USA and Canada, um, the grid's just going to be overdrawn as we, we electrify everything. Uh, so we're going to be looking at non-parasitic uh, ways of deploying power. Uh, mm -hmm. And that could be in not limited to just solar. Deeply intriguing. Steve and Rosie, WorkSport, thank you very much for being with us today. Thanks for having me, everyone.